they're finished dealing with Quintus up there, tell them to hurry back to me. And keep an eye out for signs of any outsiders trespassing on the black streets. Got it, boss!
Tread carefully now.
friend, and that was splendid. Decimus was just as powerful as the Lord, yet you vanquished him with ease. If you are willing to do so, you could easily make quick work of Barad as well. I didn't come here for Barad. My mission is to get in, get the shipping stone, and get back out undetected. Yes, but with him out of the picture, you wouldn't have to sneak around. It would be much harder to move around undetected now that you kill Decimus. It's better to have more options as to how you complete your mission. <laughs> By the way, friend, I'll give out some information that I think you should know. <laughs> Where did you hear that the stone's been moved? It wasn't hard at all, friend. There's no shortage of people willing to give information in exchange for small incentives. Garad isn't the most popular character after all. All you need are reliable informants, flexible methods of inquiry, and a careful mind. <laughs> Friend, please don't say it's only now that you begin to appreciate my time. To be fair, the first time I tried to meet you, you ditched me. Please, give me some time, and I'll prove myself. So if Barad is so bad, why has no one overthrown him? Those who can overthrow him look on indifferently, and those who want to are powerless to do so. To be honest, Minerva's adherence belongs to the latter. If Barad were to die, it would be a huge advantage for them. Really? I don't know. Minerva told me to keep a low profile. Isn't the reason obvious? The mistress doesn't think you can kill the rod. Of course, so strong, friend. But if I was the mistress, I wouldn't believe you could defeat the rod either. Maybe. Hmm. The rod probably moved the shifting stone to lure me in. You know what? I'd actually like to see for myself how ugly that face of his really is. Friend! This is as far as I go, friend. Now I'm going to slow you down if I keep going. But don't worry, I'll try to stay here. If you need to retreat. I don't do retreats. It's not my style. And even if Barad won't give me the shipping stone, I'll figure out a way to get it. Leave it to me. Ah, uh, you certainly are reliable. Then you know, I'll await your good news.
Hey, you! Yeah, I see you. Come in. So you're the one that's been causing trouble? A child? My, my. How impressive. Hey, I'm not a child. You know, I can't let you leave this granary alive. Not after you've killed so many of my men. But I am curious. What the hell are you doing here in the black streets? I didn't want to hurt them, especially when they can't really hurt me. I just need something from here. As long as you give it to me, I promise I'll never set foot in the black streets again. I see. How about this? I give you what you want, and in return, you work for me. You what? Do you think you can just come in, kill some people, and run off with the loot? How do you think people would look at me if I let you go? You don't seem to care at all, just barging in here. I like that. I mean... Shut up. I'm not done yet. Come work for me. It'll save my reputation, and you'll get what you want. Just name it. I'm sure your skills are worth the price. All right. You can speak now. I refuse. I'm a warrior, not a mercenary. We have nothing more to talk about. Very well. I have another proposal for you. How about I just kill you here, and parade your head through the streets on a spike? It's been a while. <clears throat> Oh, God. 
Killed him! <laughs> 